Hello, this is Ixogon, and this is the SC Cube, otherwise known as the super cool sand cactus and sign computer. As the name suggests, it is made entirely out of sand, cactuses, and signs, and also some sandstone, and I guess this. Uh, this is this is glowing sandstone. If you can't tell. Anyways, what this machine does is right here we have an input section where we can input two numbers: one in the top row, one in the bottom row. How we do this is by dropping sand. The number is binary, and each piece of sand represents a one, and each hole represents a zero. After we input the two numbers, you can go over here, break the cactus, which will start the calculation. And as that calculation goes, the machine, off of these thingy things, drop down the sand into this hole and give us the result of the calculation. So I'm going to test this machine at the end of the video, but before I do, I'd like to explain a little bit about how it works. So first, when you the first when you start the machine, break this cactus, we'll send a signal all the way up this sand, right here, through this into this Y thing. And then both of these sand pieces will drop. Both of them will drop into this holes or we have a one then the sand will fall here and break the cactus if there's not a sand piece of sand in the hole it won't send a signal up so this is how we use the input send signals into the machine so once we get the input these two signals go up these two poles into this first segment which is the actual part that performs that's it's like the logic computer computing thingy call, it's called an adder circuit so it adds the numbers yeah so I'll explain how that works so there's three basic logic gates that we've made out of sand cactus and signs and we can combine these to make more complicated logic well, circuit circuits yeah so this one is called an OR gate. If you break this sand, it will cause this sign to break, and then the sand to fall down and break the cactus, and send the signal on through. And if you break this sand, it'll do the same thing. So it's an OR gate, because if you break either one side or the other, the signal will go through. Next we have the AND gate. This one, you have to break, send a signal into both legs of the gate before it will send a signal through. So if we break the first one, the sand will fall straight past the cactus, and when we break the second one, it will fall on top and send the signal. Next, the most complicated one is the exclusive OR gate. This one will activate if one of the legs is activated, but not if both. So if I break just one leg, It'll send this signal through here, up here, drop this sand, break the cactus, send the signal through. But if I break both legs, then the sand, when this sand falls, this sand will already be gone and both of them will pass by. So I'll demonstrate that. I should have had this beforehand. Oh well. So when I break, so this is going to not send a signal through when I remove these. They both pass through. Now, if we combine these circuits, we can create more complicated ones. This is a simple adder circuit, which can add one two the bits of two numbers and produces a sum, which will send out on the output. 
and then the carry, which continues on to the next segment. Now this this one works, but it's also very large and complicated. So in order to make it smaller, I actually had to make it more complicated. But it's smaller and it can fit a lot in the one machine. So that let me make the machine a lot more compact. After this adder circuit is activated, then it'll send the carry signal up here and drop sand down here, break both cactuses, and send the carry onto the other machine, which will fall down and break this cactus. So that Let's just send the carry and also the two input things. And it also will break this cactus, which will do another Y thingy, and send on the signals to the next bit of the calculation. Now, if there's no carry, then it will only, wait, instead of dropping it to here, it will send it up this thingy, which will drop it down here, and break only one of the cactuses, which will just continue on to the next calculation and not send a carry bit, because it's only, it's not sending through this cactus, only this cactus. Alright, so this process will continue all the way down here, until it gets to the very end, and then instead of sending a carry bit at the end, we have a final bit that will just be outputted. And that's basically how the machine works, in a very vague way. Now it is time to test the machine, finally. Oops. So, I'm going to generate some random numbers on the right hand of the screen. And then I'll plug them into the machine and we'll see if it works because I've only actually tested the 16-bit version of this computer once, but it should work. I mean, it worked once. So here's our two numbers, 50,596 and 64,793. And to that. Now, this is those two numbers binary, and that is the sum. So now we've got to plug those numbers in. All right. One, one, zero, 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 one, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, two zeros at the end. All right, that one's got that one in. Now, second number, we got six one zero. Interesting. Six zero 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 zero. Zero, zero, one. Now we're gonna check to make sure these are actually correct. Let's see. And they look right. Now I'm actually gonna behind the input. I'm gonna play here what that um, should be. So this will let us know if the machine is working as it's working. Oops. It's actually more likely that I'm going to put these numbers in wrong and the machine fails. Yep, that looks right. Now the machine is ready to test. All we need to do is break that cactus. But first, we have something to do. This machine you'll see is very, very slow. So, we're going to do a bit of a race. <coughs> this. Look at his spot. Fastest pig. 
down to Minecraft. If you look at his foot, yeah, you're gonna be racing this machine. If you fall through two cobwebs before the machine finishes counting. Look at his foot. You were born. All right, let the race begin. Although not at the same <coughs> time, because yeah. <laughs> so the calculation is beginning, and <coughs> we're dropping the pig. Now, let's see if this machine works. Oh, it's sending a signal, and we got the first digit dropping in. All right, let's let's, let's check on P Wiki split here. Oh, P Lickety Split. Oh, he's about three pixels in. <coughs> P Lickety Split is. Hmm. I don't know. It's too close to call right now. Yeah, yeah. It's a very, very slow machine. You'll, you'll see. It's just very slow. Mostly. So these are like. Time for timing. So if. If the machine actually doesn't get activated. Like. That. Then the timing thing has to go all the way up and down before it actually activates the next one. But here we go. We've got the third digit in. It's looking pretty good so far. And <coughs> I, I've got my money on P Lickety Split. Just, just gotta say. <coughs> here you go money. <coughs> and... Wait, did it fall? <coughs> oh, here, it's going. And that's the fourth... Uh, sixth digit. Very, very slow. <coughs> Oops. I guess we can go watch it as it's running. So. Yep. Sand. Just dropped those in and did not activate them, so we're gonna have to wait for the timing circuit to get to the top. Uh, it's not that one. I think it's the one traveling up there right now. And that will fall. Right down. And I think they're, they're just activated the next bit and yep now we're gonna have a lot of waiting here I don't know I think, <coughs> yeah feel like we split you're definitely gonna win Give me another oh. uh. oh oh he's gonna die <coughs> cannot die Still swimming pool. Uh, let's make some andesite. I don't know what andesite wants. <coughs> Here we go. Nice little swimming pool. <coughs> let's give him a diving board. Wait. He's not gonna dive on us, right? <coughs> uh, diving board. Oh, it finished. Yeah, and there you have it. That is the SC cubed adding machine. Sorry, P Lickety Split. 
you're just not fast enough. 